Hello there. Hello. Right, you are welcome to my platform today. You are welcome to my training. You are welcome to today's tutorials. And today's tutorials is going to be on this cap. You know, someone actually uh, requested for the illustration of this cap. And I will be doing justice to it. It's quite easy. Five minutes, you are done with this cap. Very, very easy. So I'm just going to show you what it takes to uh, sew or create this cap. So I'll start with a drawing. So the first thing you need is your material in a rectangular uh, form. So you need your fabric in a rectangular form. All right. So assuming this is your fabric, you will be having the length the length on a fold so please take note of that the length on a fold would be 20 inches and then the width which will represent the height of the turban would be 18 inches all right so it's going to be on a Fold. That's what I just wrote there. Now let's just quickly look at how we are to shaping it after folding it in the rectangular form. How do you shape? So you can see, you just slant, take a certain measurement, and then you cup the bottom. So this is how you just cut it out with your scissors. So the top is going to be opened, the down is going to be open, but a part of the top is going to be closed. So let's say like uh, 1.5 of the top will be closed. You understand? This is just it. It's quite easy. So let's just use the uh, fabric to, to do it so that... You can see and get better understanding. So I would be using two different fabric for these tutorials just for the purpose of uh, clear or better understanding. I would be using two different fabric. So I have the baby pink on a white. Of course, both of them are perfect colors to match. So for me, it's okay. So the width will be 18 inches, like I said earlier. And then the length on a fold will be 20. So if stretched out, it will be about 40 or let's say 38, between 38 and 40 if you open it up. But on a fold, it should be 20, between, um, yeah, 20 and let's say 19 yes all right so this is the fabric i'm just going to uh, ensure that all uh, the sides are equal as in both the pink and the white should have uh, equal uh, length one shouldn't be longer than the other so that's just what i just try to uh, ensure so now, this is how I curve it out on my fabric. I start by marking out the midpoint. Give a distance of, say, 2 inches. I'm just going to give a distance of 2 inches from the top and the bottom. Remember, I marked out the middle. So a distance of 2 inches. Okay, that's from the bottom. Then I just repeat my curve. A distance of 2 inches from the top. And then I'll just slant it to the top. So from that part, I'll just like, yes, take a curve to the top. To the top. So that's the distance I'm trying to explain. All right. So just curve it uh, to the top. So after cutting it out, all I need to do is uh, to just sew it together. And then turn it out. And... I'll show you how to join every part and close 
every part that you need to close this video is quite easy you can see that it's very short yes it's very very short all right so let me just use this medium to welcome those persons that are just discovering creative ends platform uh, creative ends international for the first time so i really want to welcome you you are welcome to my channel this is creative ends international and on this channel we train on everything that has to do with the ed fashion yeah so if you're interested in ed fashion this is the best place to be do not forget to subscribe before leaving this channel today and i'll be seeing you in my next video the rest part of this video is self-explanatory i believe that you can watch and understand but if there still be any part of this video that you do not understand clearly please do ask questions on the comment section and i will respond to you as fast as possible so for now it's bye from my end